Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and I'm here with another C-Sharp homework assignment for beginners. We are to write an application that includes two additional methods in addition to the main method. The one method should return a string consisting of four or five lines of information about your school and the other method should return a string consisting of asterisks. First call the method that returns the string of asterisks. Then we will call the method that returns the asterisks a second time, but after we invoke the method that displays the information about school. So what they want us to do, they want us to print a line of asterisks, then information about school, and then we call the asterisks method again and print the line of asterisks on the bottom of the information. Uh, the items you may include is like a name of school, number of students in the row, school colors and whatever. We will need to use appropriate labels, uh, I guess they mean variables, and the display should be aesthetically pleasing, so we should include the aesthetics to kind of surround the listing. Okay, so we need two methods, that's what we want. We want one that prints the asterisk or well, returns the asterisk and um, the second one the information about the school. So let's do the methods first. Uh, so we will do the static. Uh, it returns string of asterisk. So um, and basically we are supposed to return a line of asterisk or a string of asterisk. So in order to do that, we'll simply return a string. So we will do return and bunch of asterisks. Now obviously, since this is a repeated pattern, there's uh, other ways to do it. Uh, and I will show you a little later in the video a better way than just to return a string like that. But this is what they want us to do. They want us to return a string of asterisk. They want it to, they want it to be a string, which it is, because it's in quotes, so that makes it a string right there. And we are returning it. We could assign it to a variable. We could say uh, asterisk equals this. Oh, not the, uh, it's a string asterisk, and we will assign the value to it, and we will return the variable asterisk. But like I said, we could also just return it directly. Like that. All right, so this one was easy. Now let's do the other one, the second method, and it's gonna be uh, static string, and I'll call it school information or info. And uh, in it, we will simply create a few information. So let's do the string school name. And the school I went to was City University of Seattle. So um, that's my school. The next one will be string, and it's gonna be school country because my country was Slovakia. I bet you didn't know that and now you do. All right, the next one, uh, school, I don't know, cost. Let's make it an integer and I don't know, 15,000. And we can do integer for number of students who attended the school and I don't know, let's say 1,000. So we have these variables, now we have to return them. Uh, from the from the method all assigned to a string and to do that we can do a string school info and we can format it all together we will do our uh, string dot format and in it we will simply put together all this information into one string so it will be like a school name and that will be our first placeholder. That will be 
placeholder zero will hold the school name variable. And after that, we want to move to the next line and output the, the uh, other line of information. And so we will do slash n, and that will move us. That's a that's a character for a new line. So uh, that's that. Uh, we will do. I'll go on the other line so we can see it better. And the next one will be uh, what was it? School country, and this will be placeholder one for the school country variable. And again, we will do new line, and we will append on the next line. We will do school cost and school cost. Uh, is placeholder number two but this one since it's money we want to format it for currency so c and let's make it with two decimal places so this is going to be a format for our school cost so it should be like print fifteen thousand as a currency not just a just an integer and again a new line and finally let's do uh Students, students attending, and this is placeholder number three. That would be the number one thousand. And now we can assign the placeholders. So the first one was school, uh, school name. The next one was school country. The next one was school cost. And finally, our what was it? The number of students. And this is a formatted string. So now we can simply come over here and return our school info, which is a string that is already formatted with all the new lines and everything. And you know what? Let me just uh, move it like a line up since they want us want it to be all pretty. So we'll kind of do a nice column right there. So that's why it's actually it's good to print each of them uh, on new line, even on, in your Visual Studio, so you can see the spacing there. All right, so we have our uh, we have our methods. So now we can come over here, and they want us to print the asterisk. So we will do console dot right line, and in it. You would output the asterisk. You could actually do it right here, like this, and it would print it. But they want us to use the method, so we need to call the method asterisk. Now, so you can do it right inside the right line. Basically, you will type the uh, name of the method, and the method returns the asterisk. So the asterisk, if I spelled it right, that would be good. As the Rix. and um, whatever the method returns is being uh, used by the console that write line. So it will simply console that write line with output this, and we can do the same console that uh, write line with the school info, school info method. So we will do school info, and they want us to print another asterisk line so console that right line asterisk so this one returns asterisk this one returns or prints the uh, school info and this one prints the asterisk again so let's compile and run it and this is what we get see we have it all nicely formatted we have the asterisk we have the currency fifteen thousand dollars and everything's very pretty and just awesome now another way to do this for example instead of doing it uh, passing the asterisk right here into the console that right line you could create a variable so let's say string a or whatever you want to call it you could call it asterisk again because this is a local variable just for this method so um, it's not the, it's not uh, the method itself after all this is a uh, lowercase 
and C sharp is case sensitive. So we have a string asterisk and we will assign it the value that is returned from the method asterisk. And then over here, instead of calling it, calling the method asterisk from within the right line, we can simply pass the local variable asterisk to it. So this one has the local variable, this one has the method call within the right line. And if I run it, they should be both the same, which they are. It's still just as beautiful as before. Awesome. Uh, another way to do this um, would be uh, to use, you know, this is a repeated pattern, so you could use different ways of repeating the pattern. And normally you would use a loop, probably. Uh, so I'll sh I'm gonna show you, I don't know if, uh, you know, uh, how far in C sharp you are, so this might be a new thing for you, but I'll show it to you anyway. So instead of uh, returning this, what we can do, we can do our string, string asterisk, and I'll assign it the value of the asterisk. And we will create a loop. In this case, it's going to be for loop. And we will loop, uh, I don't know, i equals zero. Uh, i is less than, I, I don't know how many there are, let's say 50. And i plus plus. So this will create our loop. And in it, we will simply assign, like remember, asterisk only has one star right now. But if we do plus equals, star, this loop will assign additional 50 stars to our asterisk uh, variable. So it will have, at the end of the loop, it will have 51 stars. And then we can just return asterisk, our local variable, and it will be passed right there. So uh, when I run it, it's still beautiful. And to show you, that uh, it actually works. Let me make it smaller this time. Let's say I only want 10 of them, so it will have actually 11 because the initial value is a star. Uh, so if I run it, you can see that the number of asterisks change. So the loop controls how many asterisks are being uh, as, uh, appended to our string variable asterisks over here. And in this case, you can simply move it to whatever value you want. So again, if I run it, now it's beautiful again. And there is still another method. I'm gonna comment this out. And it's very simple. Uh, one line of code, we will return, and the syntax is new string. And if you look at it, it's asking what string you wanna return. So we wanna return the value, the character value, we want to return the asterisk, right? But if you use a comma and use a different argument there, it's asking for the count. And it says the number of times C, or the character, occurs. So I can do 50, and it will simply return 50 uh, these stars, or the asterisk. So, uh, Let's see if it's gonna work. Oops, not yet. Uh, I think that's because this is supposed to be a character. Yes, it's a single character, not a string. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I know what's wrong. It's, it's not that. It could be that way, but uh, it's capital C, C S because this is a class, not a not a variable. We are returning a class, and I don't know if you are familiar with the. Uh, I still need the single class basically needs to have the new there because uh, they need to be so-called instantiated into objects. So what this is going to return is going to return a string of 50 characters of the, of the stars. So when I run it, nothing changed. You can say, see that it's the same thing. Again, I can prove that it's just controlled by this one line of code, because you can see now that now it's only 10 of these asterisks. So this is probably the easiest method. Uh, 
but if you're not in a, the object oriented programming yet in C sharp this may not make uh, this may not make too much sense for you yet but if you just remember the syntax for now you can impress your your teacher or your mom I don't know um, maybe even your colleagues or your other st students there in your class you know and then they'll be coming to you and asking for advice yeah so yeah don't impress anyone <laughs> just kidding this is all for you so you are a better programmer than anyone else in your class and than anyone in your workplace so uh, yeah this is the uh, this is the assignment fairly simple again here's the output and I hope it helped you and if it did please leave a like leave a comment share with your friends who are not as good as you yet and never will be because you are the best and uh, I will see you in the next video take care